trial of a North Carolina police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black man looking for help after a car accident. The officer charged with voluntary manslaughter. His lawyers say he was acting in self-defense. And ABC's Mara Scavacampo is here with the story. Good morning, Mara. George, good morning. The victim, a former college athlete who had moved to the area to be closer to his fiance. During this trial, the jury is expected to finally see the telling dash cam video, which has never been released to the public. This morning, Charlotte police officer Randall Carrick faces a jury and voluntary manslaughter charges, accused of shooting and killing former Florida A&M scholarship football player Jonathan Farrell in 2013. Four shots in rapid succession when Jonathan is 10 feet away. During opening statements Monday, prosecutors saying the officer, who is white, used excessive force in shooting the unarmed African-American 24-year-old 10 times. Police say Farrell had just crashed his car when he went to a nearby home for help at 2.30 in the morning, alarming the homeowner who called police. The 911 tape played in court. There's a guy breaking in my front door. There's a guy breaking in your front door? Yeah, he's to get down. On the stand, explaining she thought he was trying to break in. She was all alone with her young child and was terrified. Is he still in the house? Did he leave yet? I don't know. I don't know if he's in the front yard going. Oh my God, please. While Farrell's fiance testified he wasn't an aggressive person, the defense painting a different picture, claiming earlier that day, Farrell argued with his fiance, smoked marijuana, and that when police responded, he charged them, his own bad choices leading to his death. This case is not about race. It never was. Carrick has pleaded not guilty. If convicted, he faces three to 11 years in prison. He's been on unpaid suspension since the shooting. Amy? All right, Maura, thanks so much.